Hi guys, it's Rob Maringi. I hope you're doing very well. This video is all about how COVID-19 might be, or is uh, affecting children. Um, so I heard a bit of an interview with a man called Dr. Batar, B-A-T-T-A-R, um, requested recently by the White House physician and other people for information about COVID-19 and other stuff. Um, he's a very, very distinguished doctor um, being censored a lot recently. Anyway, he he said that what's inspiring him to keep going against the grain on this is he saw a father and a son, the son was about four or five years old, walking out of a food food store, grocery store, uh, both wearing a mask or muzzle or a bit of uh, <laughs> surgical um, mask, whatever you, want you call, whatever you want to call this bit of a um, paper or cloth. The child dropped his and started crying, uh, understandably. Uh, sadly, um, and the, the dad said, why are you crying? And the kid was like, I dropped my mask. And the dad said, well, just pick up the mask. And the kid said, but if I drop my mask, I'll die. Right, guys, so it's basically, <laughs> let's crystallize COVID and the whole pandemic, the whole world situation to two things, okay? So you, you either, the continuum, but at two ends. One end, you think this was a military move by the, the CCP, Chinese Communist Party, and then 5G is a military move, and that all the suppression at the start and the, and the corruption of the WHO is a, is, a, is a move by China, and that they have uh, footage of, well, this bit's true, they do honey traps and have footage of world leaders and heads of th places sleeping with young prostitutes, and then they have, have them by the gonads, so to speak. Which is maybe why the leader of the World Health Organization won't say the word Taiwan on camera, and why he was uh, sacked for corruption in uh, the Ethiopian government, I believe. Anyway, so either you think all that, or you think this was a uh, accidentally released um, by a wet market in China, where animals are kept in uh, uh, <laughs> horrific, cruel, petri dish-like conditions and it then spread around the place accidentally from there or accidentally came from a weapons lab which wherever you are in that continuum or you may you may have gone beyond either of those points <laughs> um you must not feel like i'm not trying to cause anxiety or fear but you can't you can't you must you can't feel good about that child crying like that and let's universalize a bit okay i've been a primary school teacher for eight years and there's not that much difference between five-year-olds, okay? Four-year-olds, five-year-olds. Not that much difference. They don't have much frame of reference. It's, it's sort of like they run LSD all the time. They, uh, everything's wonderful or terrifying, like the golden leaf, you know, or, uh, one, sorry, wonderful or terrifying. Um, and in this case, it was, it was terrifying. And if we universalize that, think of all the kids in the world who are now terrified to touch other people to see their grandparents, their parents, to play in school, which is how kids develop morality, to sit near a teacher, to not wear a face covering, which Dr. Batar says actually makes your health far worse. I, I'm not saying I agree, but he goes into extensive detail into, into how wearing a mask is detrimental to your health. <laughs> um, So I guess this is a video for parents, really. I, please don't let your child be that child. You know, it, kids need cherished delusions just as much as adults do sometimes. Santa Claus, you know, tell them about that. It's a cherished, get them through. You don't tell them about ISIS and people drowning in cages, you know, uh, to get them through. Please tell our young people they'll be okay. They are, in fact, the lowest risk category. The threat isn't quite as big as we thought. Um, the Imperial College projections were way off. Um, everyone's got a great hindsight, you know. Um, I'm not dismissing the pandemic, but we're overreacting massively and standing two metres apart with a virus that can stay in the air for three hours and has been known to travel four metres and wearing... Um, <laughs> no matter how much time you spend making them and how pretty they are, uh, masks... <laughs> Sorry, the whole thing is, I'm not, 
I shouldn't be laughing, but the whole thing, you must know by now, is so surreal. We're literally... They call it the totalitarian tiptoe. So either you think that's happened, or it's all... Or that's all... You, know, you either think... You either sense a totalitarian tiptoe, or totalitarian sprint, it seems now. Or you think, well, that's conspiracy and rubbish. Um, and you read... You hear CNN or Fox or the BBC or The Sun or The Guardian, and you take that as gospel. Um without realising that they are bought and sold, and probably more, given what I was talking about with the CCP. So, please resist groupthink, guys, herd think, and reassure the kids as much as possible. Don't, don't expose them to media, which includes, well, Facebook and Twitter are the two biggest news sources on the planet, to my mind. Keep them away from that. Uh, maybe keep yourself away from that. Um... <laughs> And I don't know, I can't tell you what to do. I, I, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to voice concerns. And it's really sad to see a four-year-old thinking he's going to die when a, a bit of cloth falls off his face, okay? In, in, a, in a stable Western democracy. Um, That's really, uh, you know, a, t a telling image and a telling symbol, and I really hope we don't have to see more of it. Um, some of you know, suffering of children is a, is a cause close to my heart. Um, I didn't go through any physical abuse or anything like that, but um, other, other things. Um, and it's, it's very horrible. It's very horrible to see. And a lot of people know deep down that something is not right, but it's hard to think about it all because it's so saturated with so much information and conflicting conflicting information and the people you trust you end up trusting the gad, the gadflies and the sort of uh you know the sam harris's and, and eric weinstein's and stefan molyneux of and ben shapiro's of the world because the, the stefan molyneux for all his faults was talking about this in december man or january it was definitely january the latest warning everyone about coronavirus and where was the mainstream media on this for months? Okay, so try and ha try and have um, Aldous Huxley said the key to wisdom was a I don't I don't have it usually, but as an amused an amused detachment from world affairs, and you can just watch and sort of. It's hard to be that laugh playful and um, non serious about what's going on at the minute, considering how dystopian it is or dystopian, however you pronounce that. But just try and be a bit more playful and allow some humour in and allow people to say things that you might disagree with um, <laughs> and see the universe in each other's eyes and keep keep your children entertained and, and happy because it's your responsibility you chose to have them for your happiness okay so especially when they're especially especially when they're very young um there's a lot of poison out there at the minute in different forms, and you can you can minimise their exposure to it and talk calmly, explain to them, talk sense into them, and listen to them. That's what they crave. More than one child has said to me, you're my new dad because you listen to me. That's listen to them, okay? That's therapeutic for you and them. And, and that might... That might help with their fear, okay? Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.